Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm here to talk a little bit more about Stream Boost technology, which is inside of our new D-Link gaming router, the DGL5500. If you've heard about the D-Link gaming router, you know that it has something special going on, which is about traffic shaping. So if you're a gamer, you want to make sure that all of those things that are going on in your home network are getting optimized in such a way that your game doesn't take a hit, that you don't get that lag that could result in a frag. So what we want to do is actually show behind the scenes how this actual gaming router is working in a very intense home network environment that we've set up here. So you can see at the heart of this home network, we actually have the new DGL5500 gaming router. And this is the actual interface of that gaming router, which is much different than a router interface you may have been exposed to in the past. So you can see here, it has the router right there in the middle. This is your internet connection coming in. And it's going to show you in real time your down and your up speed coming into the home network, while it shows you all of the connected devices on that home network. We talked about the new gaming router being device aware and app aware. So it's automatically aware of every device that's happening or connected to your home network, but it's also app aware, which is really the secret sauce, if you will, because it's going to look into that device, act the actual apps that are running, and make sure that it gets just enough bandwidth, not too much and not too little, so that everything on the home network is running smooth. So if you can see what we've set up here, we actually, like I said, have the router right in the middle. We have four connected PCs that are here on the, the desk here, plus we have an iPhone that's running video. So we're actually going to click into these devices themselves so you can actually see how Streamboost is able to see what's going on and allow you to actually manage and optimize your home network. So if you actually click on the router itself, you'll get the same type of a screen where you're actually now seeing all of your devices on the left hand and again it's showing you your up and down speed as well as your overall up and down speed for the network whereas this is device specific. Now if I was to look at one of these, obviously there's a lot going on on this PC. If you actually click into it, you can see this is actually the PC up here on the top left where we actually have BitTorrents going. So you can see on the right, green is good. It means that it's getting enough bandwidth to handle that application accordingly, but it's also making sure that it's not giving it too much so that those bandwidth intensive applications like video and Skype and so forth get what they need more importantly. So now if we were to go up to another PC, you can actually see this is the video that's running on the left. It's a YouTube video where we have 360p resolution going on that YouTube video that's playing. I'm actually going to go over and upscale that video to 1080 so you can see what happens. As, as I now click to 1080p, I accidentally clicked to 720p, but you can see now that Streamboost is automatically recognizing that it's a 1080p video, and you'll see the 720p video, it'll go away. And so now it's allocating more bandwidth to that PC because it now knows that it's a higher resolution video, meaning it needs more bandwidth. So you can see that right out of the box, this device, this router is doing a lot to identify everything that's going on in the home network and give it the device prioritization that it needs. So you can see it's actually streaming and making sure that everything is, is going. If you click down into any of these other devices, here we are on the phone, you can see we have Netflix going on the phone and it knows that it's Netflix and it's actually allocating the bandwidth accordingly. It's doing this in real time on the fly and it has a cloud-based uh, way of actually looking at every device that's connecting and automatically updating itself as new apps come out and as new devices come out. So if there's a new gaming title or there's a new way that Netflix handles video, it's going to automatically update it and make sure that you're always optimized for your home network experience. And you can see, more importantly than anything else that's going on here, is the game up in the top right. And you can see it has a very low ping. Here we're looking at 20. So all of this is really great, but more important than any of this, if you're a gamer, is you want to make sure that this PC or this screen, out of everything else that's happening in your home network, gets the priority it needs. And you can see we have a lot going on on this screen, and it's a real-time game. But you can see in this, this environment, we have BitTorrent going. We have a 1080p video going. We're also downloading three iTunes videos. We have a phone that's streaming Netflix. And all of the while, the game doesn't skip a beat. And that's really what the prioritization, and what we call traffic shaping, is doing within StreamBoost and why it's so revolutionary to the home networking industry, and particularly for gamers, is that you can have all of this going on. And you can see that the video is not skipping. The game's not lagging, the bit torrents are still going, everything is running smooth. So if you have limited bandwidth coming into your home, you certainly want to make sure that that bandwidth is allocated accordingly so that your game and other intense applications 
get the device prioritization that they need, and that's what the D-Link Gaming Router does.